Hi guys, my name is Fahad and welcome to Electronic Clinic. If this is your first time here and you want to learn Arduino programming, PLC Lata Logic programming, SCADA application designing, SOLIDWORKS, Visual Basic application designing and programming, from microcontrollers to send and receive data, Android, security systems, robotics, image processing and much more, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell icon so that you never miss anything. So now let's start. This is a PLC based pick and place uh, robot as you can see on the screen. So here we have one DC motor and this DC motor is used to open and close this grapper. Here we have another motor and we just connect it with the shaft and this is used for the forward and backward movement of the uh, robot and here we have three sensors this is the first one and all of these sensors are of the type NPN industrial sensors 24 number one will be detected with the help of this sensor and the second sensor will be used for detecting the second and the third one for the third book so now we have uh, a thir third motor which is uh, which is used for controlling the linear motor so this will be used to uh, to control this the gripper and with the help of this gripper we can uh, place a book or pick a book so we have total of three motors one two and three so this is one two and three once again we have three sensors of the type NPN and this is the shaft and tire and then we have three motors and there is another sensor which is also of the type NPN and this is also an infrared sensor and this is used for detecting the home location so this wall will be used as a detection that this is uh, the home location so when this sensor will detect this wall it will automatically reset so we can use any other thing for the detection as the home location so the wall is not necessary so we can use a wood plank or anything else that you can think of as you can see this is a step down transformer and this is a, a bridge rectifier which converts AC into DC and this transformer is used to control all these three motors so we we will uh, power up this motor with the help of this transformer uh, so we will have uh, two supplies the one is here which is the external supply and this one is another supply so uh, this one will be used to power up all the relays so the relays will be on and off with the help of this one uh, while the external supply will be used to uh, supply voltage to the motors so to all the motors but the transformer supply will be used is the external supply so here we have another circuit which consists of the push buttons and we have total of eight buttons one two three four five six seven and eight so these are the eight buttons so is the one the, the first one we use to reset <clears throat> and the second button as you can see will be used to actually open the gripper as you can see so this button will be used uh, for opening the gripper and the second one will be used for closing the gripper and these two buttons are for the fetch and the place command so the first one is for the uh, fetching and the second one is for the placing how it works actually when the robot is at home location so first of all we press the reset button then we open and close the gripper and then after that we uh, click the fetch or the place button and then after that we have these three buttons uh, which is for the book number one book number two and book number three and uh, then we select the book number press that number which is a signal to the PLC to pick or place book number. now I've connected all the supplies the external supply is coming from the transformer and this is a 12 volt adopter connected right here and as you can see the PLC is running and the, the input number three is active Oh, which is just because of this sensor as you can see the red light because it has sense that uh, it's at home location and now over here first of all we'll press the reset button and then after this these two buttons can this button can be used to open the gripper so as you can see the gripper is opening and this one button can be used for closing the gripper 
now if you want to perform the book fetching then we will press this one and we will open the gripper so as you can see the gripper is opening so when the gripper is open then we will give a command whether we want to fish the book or we want to place the book so for this we will use this button number 4 and we will press this and now it has signaled the PLC to fish the book and after this then we will select the book number that which book we have to fetch so we will press this book number 1 so when I press, press book number 1 it will start moving towards the cables and when the sensor number one is activated which is for the book number one it will stop there and now as you can see the linear motor is active and it's now going to pick the book so when it reaches the book it will stop there and the gripper will start closing now as you can see the gripper is closing because it has to uh, fish the book so so it will be active for about 20 seconds I have used a timer then after that again the linear motor will be activated in the reverse direction to take the book and it also will be activated for like 15 seconds or 20 seconds and when the, this time is completed then it will go back to its home location and when that sensor is activated it will go and stop there and then it will be ready for the next cycle to fetch or place a book so these are the basic connections on the input side we'll be using four infrared sensors and these infrared sensors are of the type NPN okay each sensor has three wires the one is the output and the uh, plus 24 volts wire and the ground so the sensor number one is connected with x0 input of the PLC and a sensor number two is connected with x1 input of the PLC and sensor number three is connected with x2 and the fourth sensor is connected with x3 and similarly all the other wires are connected with plus 24 volts at uh, ground so these are exactly the same connections. So as uh, I'm using the NPA type sensor, so the SS uh, contact of the PLC will be connected with plus 24 volts. And if uh, I was using the PNP type sensors, then I would connect the SS contact with the ground. Okay, as I'm using uh, FBS20 MCT, so uh, what does it mean? the 20 I'm talking about the 20 what does it mean actually if we look at the ABS 20 uh, PLC the inputs we have from X0 to X11 which are 12 inputs and the outputs are from Y0 to Y7 which are 8 outputs so total inputs we have 12 and the total outputs are 8 so 12 plus 8 equal to 20 so 20 means that we have 12 inputs and 8 outputs and we have uh, like uh, different types of PLC for example it, it may be FBS 20 MAR or while well, the one I'm using is 20 MCTs which is uh, using the transistor logic and the MAR is using the relay logic so I have also connected uh, 8 push buttons with the PLC so one side of each push button is connected with the ground as I'm uh, uh, using the NPN configuration and the other sides are connected with X4, X5, X6, X7, X8, X9 up to X11 so we have eight push buttons and four infrared sensors so that's it these are the connections uh, which uh, we will be using on the input side and now we will discuss the output connections of the edge bridge okay now let's start with the 
relay the, the, the relay I'm using is 12 volt SPDT type uh, the SPDT stands for the single pole double throw and uh, we have uh, five pins the one is the common and these two are the coil pins and one is the normally closed and the other one is the normally open so how relay works when we connect plus 12 volts on one side and ground on the other side and it doesn't matter whether we connect 12 volt over here or over here these terminals can be changed so the then the common is connected with the with with this pin so the relay turns on so a relay is basically a switch which can be controlled with the help of an electrical signal it works just like a switch a normal a normal switch so and this is the schematic symbol for the relay these are the power pins this one is common normally closed and normally open so now let's discuss the edge bridge okay now this is one relay and this is the other one so the common pins of both the relays are connected with the load that we want to control uh, now that load can be a bulb a motor or a solenoid wall etc now actually this is an edge bridge and we know that edge bridge are mostly used for controlling the DC motors for controlling their directions but we can also use edge bridge to control a bulb if we don't change the polarity if we turn on only one relay it can be used to control a bulb or a solenoid wall whether we don't need to change the polarity but if in case we want to control a motor then we can change the polarity by turning on this relay so if we want so if we if we don't want to change the polarity then we can uh, turn on and off only one relay and if we want to change the polarity then we can turn on and off also this one so the polarity can be changed as uh, in the beginning I've told you that uh, we'll be using two adopters so the one will be used for for uh, turning on and off the uh, relay so these are the 12 volts plus 12 volts connected on this side and the other side of the relays can be connected to any uh, output of the PLC from Y0 to YN and sel similarly over here for the other relay the one side of the coil is connected with the plus 12 volt and the other one with the the output of the PLC which can be any output of the PLC from Y0 to YN now if we look over here the normally closed pin of the relay is connected with plus 12 volt which is the external supply now this external supply can be uh, an adopter or it can be a 12 volt battery or any other source and this one is connected with the ground so this is the same external supply and also connected over here plus uh, 12 volt with a normally closed pin and the ground so how it works when we turn on for example when there is no signal from the uh, uh, from the PLC both the relays are in off state and normally closed position so the plus 12 volt is coming from here and also plus 12 volt is coming from here so as there is no change in polarity so the load will remain off and now for example I turn on this relay so this the, the common of the relay will connect with this ground so as you can see 12 volt is coming from here and the ground then is coming from here so and let's suppose that a motor is connected over here so it will rotate in one direction and when I off this relay it will go back to its previous position and now I turn on this relay so this time the common will connect with the ground so this time 12 volt will come from here and the ground will come from here so this way we can change uh, the polarity so this way we can control a DC gear motor and change its direction it